Thanks for checking out this Brutal Battle Beer Break video. Um, it's been a little bit since I've recorded one of these. As you know, the last uh, last one or so that I put out was with the old camera. So this is the new camera on the new laptop, so it's gonna should look better. Still trying to mess with the lighting, fixing it in, in um, editing, so hopefully the lighting looks fine, but we'll get that figured out. Anyway, uh, I'm about to make myself some dinner. Just stepped out of the shower, and I figured, eh, kind of want something a little on the lighter side, something that would go well, well with uh, pretty much anything food-wise. So I'm thinking farmhouse ale. So this is a beer that was given to me by Jason Evans, a listener of the podcast. Thank you, Jason. Uh, he gets this from a buddy of his who lives down in Florida. This beer comes from DeBerry or DeBari, Florida. I don't know. D-E-B-A-R-Y. Uh, and it's called Trekker Beer, and it is a, like I said, farmhouse ale, 4.5% alcohol by volume. Let me show you the label. Okay. It's a dude on this balloon bicycle thing with birds attached. So, whatever. Oh, did I say it's by Central 28 Brewing? I may not have. Central 28 Brewing. So, let's check this out. Jason said it's he's a fan of this one. Um, so, let's see what it's like. All right, let's put a little in for now. Make it easier to swirl around. All right, so, whoa, super clear. Uh, typically with a lot of farmhouse ales, I, I assume that it's going to be kind of uh, hazy, but no, it's super filtered, super clear, um, very yellow. I don't know what it's showing up like on, on the camera. Actually, it looks like it's showing up on the camera more yellow than it actually is. There's a slight tinge of orange to it, and as you can see, a lot of head to it. Nice, you know, substantial head. Just pulled this out of the fridge, so it's gonna be relatively cold. Mmm, it's got like that that typical funky farmhouse saison yeast, which I love, love, love that smell. A little bit of a weediness on there, a little bit of a, um, a bitterness to it as well. Some lemon, mainly lemon peel, and a little bit of like a, like a sugary candiness on the nose too, which is interesting. It smells really nice, it smells crisp, it smells a little funky, and I love that funky aspect, so here we go. Mm, very clean, super clean, but a nice flavor to it. Weediness, um, there's actually a lot of kind of like a cereal note on the finish that's kind of like a, um, you know, like a, a like a whole grain type cereal, like the non um, honey nut version of Cheerios. It's got that kind of finish to it, like real grainy. Which I'm not a huge fan of that finish, but it's not too much, honestly. And after the second sip, I taste less of that grain, that cereal grain, and more of the kind of lemon coming through, more of the funkiness from the Saison yeast. It's light. It's refreshing. It's good. This is gonna go well with like any food. Um, I was I was debating whether I'd even tell you what I'm gonna have, but uh, I'm not I'm not going high class. I'm having like a turkey sandwich for dinner, which is really kind of embarrassing. But uh, you know maybe some Doritos style chips, and uh, hey, this is gonna go great with it. So, you know, mm. There's almost a slight bit of a banana -y note on there, too, that I'm assuming is coming from the, that Saison yeast. But this is good. This is good. This is nice. I like it. Um, one of the better things I've had come from Florida in a long time, outside of, you know, Funky Buddha and Cigar City, which everybody knows. But you're going to find gems like this more often because tons of breweries showing up all, all, all the time. So anyway, uh, thanks, everyone, for checking this out. Uh, Central 28 Brewing, nice job on your trucker beer. Uh, it's good stuff. Anyway, everybody, thanks for checking this out once again. And please remember to keep it brutal and go ha find yourself. Have yourself, find yourself, get yourself an awesome beer, however you want to do it. Thanks.